Recently in a video, I demonstrated how you could use the new hopper blocks to create a secretive storage system. Now using this exact same concept, you can create a clock which rivals redstone repeaters in precision. Now what we have here is a 56 hopper setup and we have it set up in a way that the hoppers loop around. So basically what I mean is if I placed an item in this hopper right here, it would take approximately 11 seconds for the item to get back to this position. Now, to get the same result with redstone repeaters, you would need to use 17 repeaters. Now, you may be thinking that 56 hoppers seems expensive, but I will explain how that all breaks down in one moment. In this system, one second equates to five hoppers. Now, with redstone repeaters, the same is you need you'd need two repeaters, so one on four ticks and the second on two ticks. Now, this probably still seems like quite a lot of material compared to the redstone repeaters, but let's take a look at what it actually compares to it, the raw materials. So, 25 pieces of smooth stone and 10 logs compared to six smooth stone, two planks, so half a log, and six redstone. Now, still, this probably seems too expensive compared to the repeaters, but you've got to also consider the rarity of redstone. It's not the rarest of block, but you do run out of it quickly, and you may want to use that redstone for other things instead of repeaters. So, this kind of a timer is a good alternative if you would like to conserve redstone, or, yeah, basically if you'd like to conserve redstone, but still have the freedom of precision so you know you can keep it keep it in the seconds as opposed to using a cobweb a cobweb and item timer which is isn't isn't quite as precise as redstone and hoppers if you enjoyed this video please feel free to leave a rating comment subscribe or even follow me on twitter i hope you enjoyed and i hope to see you next time